in this video we are going to discuss about monitors in operating systems monitors are alternative to semaphores we know that semaphores are mainly useful for implementing process synchronization so likewise monitors are also useful in order to implement process synchronization here monitors are provided by programming language not by the operating system let us take the example of programming languages such as c and java java supports monitors whereas c language doesn't supports monitors uh, monitor means at a time only one process will be active in the monitor so only uh, if that process comes out from the monitor then only another process can enters into the monitor okay now let us see uh, the syntax of a monitor here the syntax of a monitor is similar to the syntax of a class in java programming we know what is a class in java programming so class is nothing but a structure in c programming so class means it contains a collection of uh, data members and it contains a collection of uh, functions or methods so mainly class contains data members as well as functions here class uh, here the monitor is defined with the help of a keyword called monitor space name of the monitor okay let us assume that uh, uh, we are defining the monitor for producer consumer problem then the monitor name may be producer consumer let us assume that uh, we want to define monitor for dining philosopher problem then the monitor name may be dining philosopher so likewise according to our requirement we can give the monitor name next within the curly braces shared variable declarations okay we can declare shared variables first okay so we know what is a shared variable let us assume that five processes wants to execute in the monitor so all the five processes wants to make use of some shared variable so those variables will be declared here okay so shared variable means that variables can be accessible by all the processes next a procedure is defined with the help of a keyword procedure next name of the procedure within the curly braces we can have a number of arguments next within the curly braces we can define the body for the procedure likewise we can define a number of procedures so name of the procedure is uh, here in order to define the procedure we are using a keyword called procedure next space name of the procedure is p2 within the curly braces we can have a number of arguments next within the curly braces we can provide the body for that procedure okay we know about a function uh, it uh, it is useful in order to perform a specific task so likewise in order to perform operations on the shared variables we can use these procedures so the syntax for defining the procedure is we have to use a keyword called procedure followed by name of the procedure within the curly braces list of arguments uh, within the parenthesis list of arguments next within the curly braces we can uh, write the body for that procedure likewise we can define n number of procedures here in order to perform the initialization on the shared variable we can use one more procedure so procedure let name of the procedure is initialization within the curly braces we can have within the parenthesis we can have a number of parameters next to for what purpose we are using this procedure in order to initialize the code for the variables so initially we want to perform some initializations for the shared variable so that should be done in this procedure so in this way we can uh, define a monitor now let us see about uh, uh, let us see one more point let us assume that we have uh, three processes process 1 process 1 process 2 that we have three processes such as three processes such as uh, process 1 process 2 process 3 who wants to enter into the monitor let us assume that process 1 entered into the monitor and it is executing some procedure p1 okay while process 1 is in the monitor then no other process is allowed to enter into the monitor so process p2 cannot enter into the monitor and it can't execute p2 why because here we have some shared data is there so if we allow another process into the monitor 
then if all the processes are performing the operations on the shared data then it will leads to wrong results okay so that is nothing but race condition problem in order to overcome that problem only we are using a monitor concept okay so when process 1 completed all its operations and whenever process 1 comes out from the monitor then only another process can enters into the monitor okay so multiple processes cannot enter into the monitor simultaneously now let us see the diagram for schematic view of a monitor okay so this is the diagram for the schematic view of the monitor so here mainly we have three sections are there so first one is shared data uh, shared data is nothing but shared variable next operations are nothing but procedures functions so if you want to perform some operations on the shared data then we need to define some procedures so those are nothing but procedures and what is the last section that is nothing but initialization code if you want to perform some initialization on the shared data i want to initialize some shared some values to the shared data so that should be done here initialization code here we have entry queue entry queue contains a list of processes that wants to enter into the monitor here we have three processes who want to enter into the monitor so now entry queue contains these three processes p1 p2 p3 next we have a concept called condition variable okay we have a concept called condition variable we know the advantage of a normal variable so by using variable we can store a value whereas the advantage of the condition variable is by using condition variable uh, mainly we have to perform two operations so the first operation is wait operation so x dot wait the second operation is signal operation so x dot signal so likewise we can perform uh, operations on the condition variable y also such as y dot wait y dot signal so first let's see about what is wait operation so whenever a process whenever a process is executed s dot wait operation then that process will be put in the suspended state waiting state okay so let us assume that p1 executed the operation x dot wait then p1 process will be put in the waiting state okay next whenever a process executed signal operation then that process execution will be resumed so whenever p1 is executed x dot signal operation x dot signal operation then that process execution will be resumed okay so here uh, this is the schematic view of uh, a monitor with the condition variable uh, here the only difference is in shared data section we have x and y which contains a list of processes so x it contains a list of processes y contains a list of processes let us assume that we executed x dot wait operation so what will happen then that process will be put in the uh, uh, suspended state and that process will be appended to x so one more process uh, performs the operation x dot wait then that process will be put in the uh, uh, waiting state or sleeping state suspended state and it will be appended here okay so likewise uh, if a process let p2 process executed y dot wait operation let p2 process executed y y dot wait operation then that p2 process will be put in the this waiting queue okay so next year uh, this is nothing but shared data in shared data we are having x condition variable and y condition variable and uh, the list of processes okay next the second section is operations operations are nothing but some methods the third section is initialization code so the diagram is also same and here we have entry queue we know about entry queue entry queue contains a list of processes that are wishing to enter into the monitor so this diagram is nothing but what monitor with condition variable so the only difference between these two diagram is in shared data we have uh, condition variable x processes and condition variable y processes so this is about uh, monitors in operating systems so monitors are mainly useful in order to achieve process synchronization it is simply an alternative to the semaphore's concept